I'm Sadie. I'm Carly. And I'm Kirsten. And, and we're, we're part of the Freshman Connections team. And today we're going to show you a tour of the school. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Sadie. I'm currently a sophomore at Helix. And today I'm going to be walking you around some of the parts of campus. This is the pool where you'll have your freshman swim PE, water polo, swim, dive. We also have a dive tank back there or any water sports you like to do. These are the new bathrooms that they just installed. If you're in this area, you have to use them, and there's also a water fountain. These are the baseball fields. You might have PE down somewhere in the field, but they have some extra soccer fields, and this is the baseball field. This is the girls' locker room. This is where you'll go for PE to get dressed. You'll have your PE clothes in a small locker where you can put your backpack when you're at PE. For swim PE, there are showers to rinse off if you need to, and there's also a bathroom. There's also another small room if you need to lock up any lacrosse sticks or any other after-school sports items. This is the dog house. The dog house is such a fun place. Right here is where they sell KFC, Subway, slushy some days. You can come here at lunch. You can come and get your food. Over here, you can come get spirit gear, you can talk to Miss Peterson, and you can get blankets, and if you have any other problems with um, financial things, you can come and talk to her. This is an example of what your science classroom will look like. You have just normal desks, and you also have lab tables with sinks. You'll most likely have your chem, biology, all your science classes in these buildings. There's also an upstairs that we will show you in a little bit but we're going all the way around the building to show you. It's right by the football field. So this whole building is where you'll have your science classes. There is also a water fountain right there and a bathroom. Now we're gonna head upstairs. There's another bathroom and water fountain. boys locker room so you guys will come here for PE sports same as the girls locker room so this is the pack this is where you'll come if you're an orchestra theater band this first room is the black box so if you're in beginning theater this is where you'll come back here is dance this is where you'll come when you have dance and if you go through those doors all the way down to the end that is where you go if you're an orchestra there's also a bathroom and a water fountain down Located towards the front of the school, you can find the gymnasium, which you can watch sports events or assemblies that will happen during school. Here is the 1200 building, and it has our ASB classroom, and tryouts are upcoming, so if you want to try out, you'll be heading to this classroom. Right here, you can find the XL building, which is the 1600s, where you'll be doing classwork and anything you need to catch up on, along with finishing your Felix first work. Also in the 1600s, you can find two new first classes, and so in here you'll just do basic work that you've been doing online, and do speeches and work on that. Here you can find the other Helix first classes in the 1300s on this side and the other side, like the two at the 1600s. In the 1100s, you'll find the weight training room, which if you're sophomore up, you can do weight training as PE requirement. All right, so this is the track in the football field, and so you'll have most of your PE classes here. I don't know how it is this year, but this is where it usually is. And then over here, you'll see the football field, and that's the home side, that's the visitor side, and hopefully we can get back out here um, next season. To watch. Okay, so this is the sports medicine building, and it's also the athletic trainer, so you will have your sports med classes here, and if you're ever injured from a sport or anything, you can come into here and get it looked at and checked out, and then it's right across from the football field. All right, so here is the TENS building, and it's also known as the freshman hall, and it is between Excel and the 100s building and then it's across from the 500s building so if you come over here 
So these are where all your classes are, and English will be in the front, and history will be in the back, as um, the girls' bathroom is also at the end, and the boys' bathroom is at the front. There's also some water fountains, and this is where most of your classes will be for English and history. Alright, so this is your tech office, and it's right behind the tents building, and if you're ever having issues, or your um, Chromebook is broken, you can come here, and you will get it checked out and fixed. Alright, so this is the wellness center, and it's down the hall from the tech office, and it's above the bungalows. And I'm sure you've heard of it in your advisory or somewhere, but you can come here whenever you're feeling down or if you just need someone to talk to, they're always open. All right, so over here, you'll see the varsity softball field and behind that we have the tennis courts. And then over here, we have the JV softball field and the JV and freshman field for baseball. All right, so this is the library and this is the entrance and that's the exit. You can come in here if you want to check out a book or even just hang out. We also have the Ed Lab in this back corner and we have lots of cool technology in there which um, lets you make pins, t-shirts, stickers, and we also have a 3D printer and some other cool stuff. So this is the varsity baseball field. Um, it's right next to the pack, the office, and the pool. And hopefully we can come out here and watch some baseball games soon. This is the bungalows. A lot of math classes happen down here. And there are some restrooms down there if you need. This is the 200s building. In this building, there's a lot of tech and math classes. Across from the tech office is the 10s building, and a lot of freshman classes happen in here. Across from the old admin office, there's the 100s building. In here, there's English classes, French classes, and the college center. This is the 400s building. A lot of classes in here are like Spanish, French, ASL, so you can take different languages. This is the 500s building. A lot of upperclassmen classes are in this building. Behind the Excel building is the cafeteria and more bungalow classrooms. Just a disclaimer that although some of the people in this video weren't wearing their masks, Precautions against COVID were being taken place like social distancing and if you're class of 2024 Make sure when you do return to campus that you have your mask on and are practicing social distancing 